Hi, I am Karthik. Welcome back to my Noctuck channel. In this video, I am going to uh, explain you how to set up Facebook Pixel and uh, and uh, and uh, tracking uh, and uh, track your uh, uh, customers journey throughout your website effectively and report back those data to Facebook for further optimization of your social media ads, especially the Facebook ads and you can also track conversions also uh, facebook conversion tracking can be split majorly into three uh, three major categories one is like pixel and pixel related event uh, capturing and another one is conversion api like uh, if pixel is based on browser conversion api is based on the server uh, ser uh, your server directly reporting to the facebook and aggregated event measurement is like for the ios thing uh, facebook uh, specifically allows like um, uh, eight events to uh, accurately map uh, for each domain you have verified with the facebook so these are all the main things we, uh, for the tra facebook pixel tracking uh, for facebook conversion tracking and uh, let's start with like how to set up the uh, pixel uh, pixel tracking uh, um, just when you are into the business manager you see that you, the, you have a uh, I, I can't specific for the event manager just click on that and it will land at this page and you will have lots of pixel added um, and it will list all the pixels here and in the pixels you can uh, select your desired pixel and then you can see like there will be like if at all there is no uh, mm -mm, you don't uh, do your first uh, for you are installing it for first time there would be any report at all you just click add events and from a new website and once you click new website it it will show like two things like whether you want to use um, manually add the pixel code or like facebook has supported partners uh, like uh, it's like a ready made thing you can shopify wordpress and very popular platforms it gives the option to um, directly um, integrate it uh, easily just uh, uh, click the install code manually thing and you will be shown a base code base code is like it captures the uh, it, it captures uh, the page view and uh, all mm, the common data uh, from your website and report it back to facebook you can create uh, you can uh, create a custom audience based on this pixel uh, traffic and uh, you can use that uh, uh, as a targeting thing also just click the copy code and go uh, if at all i have a funnel here then i would normally have a for any funnel or like any um, sales page you can normally have a intro or offer page then like obviously a thank you page so first we have to set up just it, this is a go high level crm it would be for play same for the click funnels and other platforms also each uh, each platform will offer the header and uh, body tracking codes uh, are different things you just have to navigate and find just click settings and you can see a head tracking code just paste this code and uh, once this is done, uh, done you just click the save thing yeah now you have uh, placed your facebook pixel in the website now you just go and click uh, continue and turn on advanced matching this is like you might have i will show the page actual page say if at all you have a page you you might if, if you let the customer opt in for uh, with a form uh, this is a two step order form you can you may collect like company name email phone number all those things and this will be automatically collected from the cust uh, customer and reported back to the facebook through the pixel and these are all uh, these are all the informations facebook usually captures uh, directly from your forms you don't have to uh, pass it just click continue turn on advanced matching and then you can uh, set up the event uh, setup tool like thank you page open website
events on this page will be tracked say yeah you can tra uh, the thank you page is basically a success page right once you um uh, once the customer uh, na once the customer like uh, uh, submits the uh, order form and makes the payment then only you will redirect them to the thank you page so we can consider this as the th uh, success page right so we can set up uh, the conversion tracking either through a track a new button or track a url in my case it's obviously the url so thank you page should be the url and now what i'm going to do i am going to set this event as a purchase you can set this as a lead opt-in or like initiate check out for the either art to court or all those things for the uh, e-commerce platforms but for the local business and like the other platform um, agencies it would be lead or purchase right so you can choose the any any desired uh, event you like to choose and click purchase and then you can uh, feed a value also say this much is the value for the customer who has bought and choose a value on the page i don't want to uh, choose a value on this page or like you just keep left it leave it as it is like don't include value then that's also fine once you click that um, click this one just click confirm and that's it this would be the tracking page so whenever a, whenever a, a customer lands at this uh, url which is equal to the thank you page it will show it will report a event like uh, it's uh, it's a success and uh, and th those events would be reported here those those events would be reported here a yeah, page view would be default and initiate checkout and uh, and add to cart instead of this i have chosen the purchase thing so purchase event would be rest, uh, uh, listed here and uh, that's it this is uh, the, uh, our pixel tracking is done if at all you want to set up any other event you just go to settings and ad automatic advanced matching we have already turned on and track events automatically without code option that also you you better switch it on so that even if you haven't set up the events it would uh, automatically facebook algorithm will try to collect it automatically in case you want to add another event uh, thing you can um, you can uh, just paste that website url and then uh, then to uh, go through the same operation and add those events once you set up the facebook pixel perfectly in the website and uh, then uh, you can ha you can uh, there is an add-on called Me meta pixel helper uh, that chrome add-on that will help us help you to uh, investigate for, or, uh, for troubleshoot any pixel issues just go to the page where you have added the pixel and just click this one you will show like what is the pixel if there are like multiple pixels it will show all the pixels things here and what are the events it's tracking uh, in case if at all you have uh, you you have other events like purchase lead things has track uh, you have set up that uh, events also will show up here in the pixel tracker this way you could ensure that your pixels are running fine and if it's green it's running fine if it's if it's a warning uh, it would show yellow color and it it means like there are no events report, so reported so far and if it's red it means like it's configured not properly uh, so this uh, meta pixel helper is a very useful tool you can use um, along with the uh, facebook pixel and event uh, tool uh, I hope uh, this Facebook uh, uh, pixel uh, uh, setup with your funnels uh, um, is now uh, easy and uh, let me know in case if you have any queries in the comment section I will happy to answer those. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.